All right, uh, we're going to do the surgical safety checklist here for a uh, presumed COVID positive patient. Uh, we'll do the brief uh, held in the OR with the patient inside the room. Um, first, we'll introduce all our, ourselves. Uh, Dr. Campbell, laryngology, head and neck surgery. All right, Michelle Chu, anesthesiology, Megan nursing. Christina, ENT resident. Very good, and we have uh, patient Jane Doe here for a uh, tracheotomy. The, um, this, is a patient, this is an awake trach on an unintubated patient. Um, the site has been marked, there's no side to mark because it's a midline procedure and the consent has been uh, verified. Uh, for the huddle, um, we will identify the level of PPE required. So this is a uh, patient with uh, coughing and, and risk factors but an unknown COVID status, so there's insufficient time to test the patient. So that would make them category 3 or 4? Uh, we will require N95. Full, so we'll, we will take the proper precautions with yep. the highest level with full PPE with N95s and uh, in face shields and we'll close the room for 60 minutes after the procedure, thank you. Um, for the case, we'll all make sure to talk as loudly as possible, be mindful of each other's position during uh, anesthesia induction and uh, we'll ensure that there is a COVID sign on the door. The planned procedure is an awake tracheotomy in, in the uh, unintubated patient, expected length of about 20 minutes, maybe half an hour. Uh, position will be um, supinus and neck extension. We verified that we have the tracheotomy tube and the cuff has been checked. There's no final test uh, results or blood to be available. Uh, beta HCG is not of concern here, nor is coagulation status a special concern. There's no other um, uh, special uh, imaging to display. Critical steps will be at the time of making the actual tracheotomy window, so we'll make sure that we have very clear communication surrounding that portion of the procedure. So we have all the necessary equipment. Uh, we have the six uh, cuff trach open and it has been checked. The COVID precaution signs are posted on the door. Uh, family member is waiting in the family lounge for post-op uh, communication. Okay, so the patient's ASA scores of 4E. The patient is 70 kilos. Would you like some ANSA? Yeah, yes please. Okay, so that's two grams of ANSA for this patient. There's no allergies, it's not hypothermia risk. Um, I'm not gonna be using any local anesthetic myself, will you? Yes, so infiltrate some lidocaine with uh, epinephrine into the soft tissues of the neck. Okay. Um, so we are planning on not intubating from above. Uh, this is an awake trach, so we are going to have, uh, we're going to pause just before you do the um, incision to the trachea, the trachea to discuss what our plan will be at that point in time. Um, so inside the room will be the four of us. We have, I have an anesthesia assistant who So we clarified our dirty areas are going to be around the patient and the equipment that we're using there. I have a drop bucket for all of my contaminated equipment. My anesthesia equipment has been checked. I have my induction agents, vasopressors, and we have three airway trays and a mail uh, equipment available yes. outside the room. Yes, we do. Okay. Great. Great. Okay. So we're going to do our time out here. Okay. Time out. We've got patient uh, John Doe here for an awake tracheotomy. He has an obstructing laryngeal tumor and therefore is not uh, intubatable and needs an awake trach. Uh, he's a suspected but unconfirmed COVID patient. Site is, um, is marked. Uh, myself and Dr. Pulky will do the case. Antibiotics make it in? Yes, they have. Okay, patient supine and neck extension. Uh, there's no imaging display, no special cusp measures. VTE prophylaxis has been appropriately administered. Any questions or concerns? No. Nope. Uh, fire risk is a three. Uh, to reduce the risk of aerosolized particles, we'll use a smoke evac, a cutter, a judicious cutter with a smoke evac, and we'll discuss specific measures to reduce aerosolization and contamination of the room. Specifically, if the dissection and exposure of the trachea is favorable and the perceived ease of insertion of the tracheotomy tube is, is easy, then perhaps we will par paralyze once the trachea is exposed but before creating the actual tracheotomy window. Okay. Sounds good. If there's any accidental circuit disconnects, I'll immediately let the team know and we'll have another discussion closer to the Okay. It's okay there, John. Take good care of you, okay? Okay. Okay. Well, uh, and we have some backup airway adjunctive measures here. We have uh, an endotracheal tube with a stylet and a bougie as well, should okay. we proceed with that uh, paralyzed technique. Okay. So, uh, so and just um, if the patient's saturations are going down too low and it's taking too long to put the tracheostomy tube in, our backup plan is going to be the bougie and the endotracheal tube. Okay. Okay. So we'll infiltrate some lidocaine into the soft tissue of, burning of the neck done. here for analgesia and hemostasis. Okay, doing great. Okay, take the 15 blade. 
We're going to get started here. We'll do this quick, we'll proceed quickly. A little bit of, little bit of pressure get here. Incision, good. Slow deep breaths. Slow deep breaths. Okay, good. Looks like the trachea is exposed there. I think it's a bakey. Okay, so. Okay. It's okay there, so we have good exposure of the trachea. I uh, normal looking anatomy. Very very okay. good exposure. Thin, favorable neck. I think it would okay. be uh, an easy insertion of the tube. Okay. So to minimize coughing from the tracheostomy yep. site and contamination from the wound, I think in this particular case, yep. we could induce general anesthesia with paralysis now okay. and then proceed with the tracheotomy very rapidly once we've established that. Okay. All right. So are we all ready to go with that? Yeah. Good. Yep. We have our tube some... yep. and we have our backup measures if the okay. insertion is difficult. All right. So I'm going to induce anesthesia now. John, we're going to put you off to sleep now. Take some nice big breaths for me in and out. You're doing really, really well. We'll take good care of you here, okay? So I'm doing a rapid sequence. Propofol is in. 100 milligrams of rock is in. I'm going to turn on my twitcher here. Let me know when you're paralyzed. Okay. We can proceed with the tracheotomy window. Yep, and I'm waiting 60 seconds. Are drifting off, and closing now. Okay. Right. All right. Twitch shows no twitches. He's fully paralyzed. Okay. So we're going to make our tracheotomy incision here with our scissors. Like that. Very good. Okay. I'll have you come in there. Do this nice and quickly. Get our tube in. Reducer out. Interfere. Fully inflate okay. the cuff, please. The Excellent. The cuff is up. Good. We'll connect our inline suction with our HME. Good. Okay. And then hand yeah. that over to me. Mm -hmm. All right. So confirming that the cuff is inflated. Fully inflated. Yes. Okay. I'm going to turn on the ventilator now. Okay. Okay. The ventilator is on. And we have CO2. Excellent. Perfect. Okay. Good. We'll come out with that. We'll now secure the tube with sutures and also with a Velcro trach tie. Okay, great. Excellent. All right. Um, so, you've just finished hemostasis there and everything's yes. secure. Yes. So, we should just do the DV. Okay. So, uh, we did an awake tracheostomy. Wound class was clean contaminated. Our counts were correct. There were no specimens. We had no equipment or any major interoperative events. Uh, You'll notify the patient, mm -hmm. his family afterwards. Okay. No PSLSs were filled out. There was no delay codes. The ID band and allergy band is still on the patient, and we'll mark the the time the patient leaves to mark the one hour post to close the room afterwards. Okay. Um, so we are not going to excavate this patient. I am going to take this patient to the negative pressure room and the recovery room. Um, do you have a clean person that can come with me to? the recovery room and transfer this patient? Yes. 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 Okay. And so what we'll do is we will just stay uh, gowned until we transfer the patient over to the bed. And then uh, with my um, transfer person, I'll go and you guys can dock in the room. And I have emergency drugs with me at that time as well. Okay? Excellent. Perfect. All right. Okay. So we finished our dissection, we have the trachea exposed. I have some concerns about this, you know, this is a bit of a deep neck, maybe some abnormal anatomy here. I could foresee that potentially putting the tube in could be challenging, yeah. and I, I wouldn't feel comfortable doing it with a paralyzed patient, yeah. so I think we should keep the patient breathing spontaneously. Okay, sounds good. Shall, shall, we, shall we move to plan B? Which yeah, we, let's do that. Okay, do we have the uh, hip fracture drape, please? We're going to set up a tent over the area. Okay, John, we're going to put a little special tent here. Don't worry, you can still take those nice deep breaths. Okay, I'm taking it, this is not sterile. This is sterile? Yeah, no, it's not. This part here. Okay, we're going to take some nice deep breaths. Okay, so we're going to take some nice deep breaths. We're just going to uh, make sure that this is good. Okay. I just need to seal here before you discuss my hand. Yep. Okay, there we go. 
So to go over the plan, yep. we will uh, we will make our tracheotomy incision. We will get the tube in, connect that, uh, inflate the cuff, connect the inline suctioning and the HME. We'll hand it off to you. You'll, conf you'll confirm entitled CO2, yep. and then you'll induce general anesthesia. Yep. I'll have this here and ready to go. Okay. Take a break, please. Uh, scissors handy. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'll take the scissors in my hand. You're doing great there, John. Just keep taking those nice deep breaths. Okay, you ready? We're gonna yes. we're gonna enter the airway here now. And come in there. Good. Slow deep breaths there. I'm gonna extend my take a little bit. Good. We've got good more spaces. Put the tube in as quickly as possible and take the cup. Cuff is fully up, yes. Cuff is fully up. I'm turning on my ventilator. And do I have inside of CO2? I have inside CO2. Excellent. So Great. we'll induce general anesthesia with paralysis now. Okay. You're going to go off the sleeve, John? You got the cuff there? You got the tube? Got the tube. We'll hold it in place. Going off the sleeve now, John. Uh -huh. You did really, really well. Okay, put the flag in. See what's on. Good. And we can now secure the tube with sutures and with a Velcro tie. And I'll have to be very careful when doctoring the tent to yes. minimize spray. Okay, sounds good.